dropped him like a bad habit a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I hate Comcast. I I was a loyal customer fucking for a long time until uh, when the first high speed internet rolled around and I called and they didn't want to do shit for me and I'm like, you know what man cancel all this shit and I've been with DirecTV, AT and T what it is now and AT and T uh, internet. <clears throat> Granted, at time it's not the best, but it does what it needs to do. Yeah, and that's all I'm looking for, dude. It's not like I'm you know doing all this high tech streaming and all this other stuff. We just, you know, go online, surf the net a little bit, you know, maybe stream a little Amazon movie here and there. But that's about it. I don't I don't really do online gaming. I, I just need the Internet just to keep the house moving, you know. So uh, it probably go back to a uh, U-verse and, and go sign on with them. Or uh, if if Alana is, is, is willing to, you know, stay off or maybe sign under her name, go back to Comcast. So. We'll see, man. Uh, I'm not in a big hurry. I'm a patient man. I lived, I grew up without internet. I can, I can deal with uh, some days without internet as well. Junior didn't. So. No, yeah, he's the one that's gonna take it the worst. And I, <laughs> when I knew I was gonna cancel, I gave him like a little prep thing. I'm like, hey, buddy, we're gonna cancel. Blah blah blah. And he was like, oh, daddy. He's like, where am I gonna watch my YouTube's and this and that? I'm like, buddy, you're gonna have to deal with it. I'm like, you can use uh, mommy and daddy's phone because we got um. Uh, data packages through right, our right. cell phone company so like you might have to watch it through there for a while but yeah we'll, we'll get in and i got buddy don't worry the struggle is real yeah <laughs> yeah but uh the only other thing that's been up with me is um alana she started uh being a vegetarian again uh she had done it a few years ago uh she wanted to try to kind of cut out meat and you know all these health things are you know you're better as a vegetarian right so she tried it a few years ago, and she she lasted a pretty good while, man. I mean, it was it was probably like half a year, if not a year, where she was a full blown vegetarian. But um, she kind of grew out of it, you know. She cheated here and there, and then finally she just broke down and just just went back. So yeah, she's she's trying it again. Uh, so far, she's got maybe like a month or two under her belt, and it's it's working out well, man. I mean, it's like uh, we ate a lot of uh, beans and a lot of. Uh, uh potatoes um what else is she doing all the veggie stuff uh, chocolate man. uh no no she's not a big chocolate person that but cheese uh cheese yeah but we usually don't buy too much cheese Bread. but yeah like uh, all that stuff the veggies uh fish she eats a lot of fish now and you know by her being a vegetarian i guess so am i uh, to an extent or at least while i'm at home uh so i only get to eat meat products when i'm outside of the house or when we go out during the weekend uh we'll go to like a you know whatever at chili's you know i'll have my usual meals and she's the one that you know sticks with the vegetarian you know diet or whatever right so yeah she's she's been up to that man and it's good man you could kind of see her kind of uplifted i don't know if it really works or nothing i've never tried the vegetarian thing i've always been a meat eater all my life but she looks to to be in a better, you know, swing of things. So it looks like it's working. What about if you have, you're saying you have beans, but uh, they're fried with lard. Is that considered vegetarian? You know, I don't know. Because she, she did used to, like, make refried beans with uh, bacon, uh, bacon the, the oil, the leftover lard thing from the bacon that you would cook. <laughs> then no. Man, that must be really good fucking frijoles. Yeah, <laughs> man. Them frijoles would be awesome. Because she, <laughs> she would buy, uh, you know, like canned frijoles. Right. And it's got kind of like a generic feel. Right. But then uh, she would cook up some bacon on the side for breakfast or whatever. And then the, the leftover drippings, she would throw into the frijoles, into the refried, and then uh, kind of machucarlos. And boom, man, them suckers, they came out half decent, man. I don't They're think pretty that's good. That's very vegetarian right there. No, yeah, this is all before she turned vegetarian. Oh, yeah, we had that last night. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is now. This is before she turned vegetarian. So now, yeah, I don't know what she puts into the beans, if if anything at all. She probably puts some uh, virgin olive oil because that's the other big kick she's getting into. Uh, virgin olive, olive oil. oil. Yeah. So uh, we've been trying to eat a little more healthy, or at least while we're all together, uh, when I'm at alone or whatever, or, or at work. Or during the weekend, you know, I'm still getting my gin and jude hot dogs and, you know, still <laughs> hitting up that gyro spot. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. You asked for extra gyro sauce on that, man. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, the only other little thing that, that, that she's doing now extra is that she wanted to uh, start a home garden, uh, like an actual vegetarian garden uh, indoors. So she's like, so she so she could have veggies all year round. And then um, we could even have like little plant seedlings uh, start like sometime like around now. So that come, you know, April or May or whenever the, the last frost is, we can plant them outside because they'll be, you know, like, you know, half grown trees or, 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 or you know, what plants that you would buy like at the grocery markets or like uh, Menards and stuff like that. Right. So. Yeah, we, we we bought a little setup, a little greenhouse. Um, it's about the width of you know like a regular table, uh, and it's it's about six feet high. Uh, so we got some plants in there now, and it's a trip, man. Junior's all excited because uh, we we planted them about a week ago, and we already got some of the seedlings bringing up little branches, little um, you know like it's it's starting to poke through the, right. the dirt. So. The dirt, yeah. Yeah, so it's all exciting. It's like a little science experiment all inside of our house. So it's pretty cool, man. Uh, she She's getting into that, which is cool, man. I like seeing her get excited for, for things. And as long as um, it's not so expensive, like she doesn't want to start, you know, <laughs> like skydiving or some shit, you know. It's going to cost what me. What would happen uh, if she's like, I want to skydive? Yeah. Like, no. If she's like two, $200 a pop to, to jump out of a plane, that's an expensive habit. <laughs> but if it's if it's something you know like it's you know to kind of help out the family and you know kind of something that's you know somewhat in the norms and uh it's not too expensive i'm I'm all for it man so she's excited about it we we got it going and we got a few seedlings popping through um so yeah man it, it's exciting man hopefully we'll, we'll see if we can keep them alive all year long uh the way she plans or at least keep the seedlings alive what is she planning to grow like what vegetables I uh, just saw the usual vegetarian stuff. She's a she's a pretty good veggie eater, as am I. There's not too many veggies that I won't eat. Uh, so we got some like broccoli, cauliflower, some squash, some cucumbers, some uh, some potatoes, some sweet potatoes, onions, lettuce, romaine lettuce, um, peas, uh, beans. So it's it's a it's a pretty yeah, wide variety. One, yeah. yeah. Uh some stuff that that I've never grown before at all, you know. We we usually do have a home garden like I've mentioned before. Um but it's usually just the the regular stuff, you know, tomatoes, uh some cucumbers and some uh peppers. But nothing really too exotic. Uh, I think last year was the the first year that we went kind of nuts and we bought like watermelons and uh strawberries, but they they didn't turn out too well. So, yeah. Yeah, this is the first year that we yeah, you came. made strawberries last year. Yeah, we had a How couple. They come strawberries. out. Nah, they're, you, short, they're small. They were real small, and and uh, I don't know if the squirrels had gotten to them first because I I only noticed like two or three maybe in the whole year. So I don't know if other animals had you know kind of snapped them off the branch before I even got a chance to even get them. So yeah, I probably won't be doing that again. But yeah, man, it's the first time we've gone veggie hairy, uh, heavy um, with our gardening. And uh, she she also wants to extend our gardening uh, plot there on the side of the house. So hopefully be extending that out this year uh, once the weather starts getting nicer and, and get some uh, good gardening going. Orale. Yeah, man. It's, um, I've never been much of a green thumb, so I don't know. It's, it's a lot of work. No, nah, definitely a lot of work, man. Are you a, a veggie-friendly person? Do you like eating, like, broccolis and some lettuce and salads and shit? I like salad, I like like spinach, and I can eat some kale, lettuce, tomatoes, carrots, and once in a while, strawberries, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I like cucumbers and all that, yeah. I don't mind. Oh. That's good stuff. Yeah, Kinda yeah. Bosses, yeah. Squash, yeah. Yeah, all this shit's pretty healthy for you, or supposedly healthy. But uh, something that's not supposedly healthy for you is pop, man. Uh, what's what's the word on the streets man, over there? This whole week I've been hearing how pop's bad for you from coworkers and loved ones and i'm like man i don't care man i'm gonna drink pop till i die man damn man, it's like that yeah it's just uh yes we all know it's not the best thing for you to drink but uh i've been hearing it all week i'm just uh, how do the kids say i'm annoyed with it oh shit man <laughs> so you're like one of them alcoholics that you don't want to hear that you have an alcoholic problem you just want to drink and no, I'm be not happy saying, I'm, do, I'm not saying that uh I'm just tired of hearing how uh, everybody says it's bad for you. I don't have a problem, man. Oh, so you're like a heroin addict then yeah. where you, you could, you know, drop some, you know, uh, just, uh, what do you I, even call those? You know, like when you're a coke addict, you drop lines. 
a bump. A bump. Uh, <laughs> what, do, what do the heroin addict call it? What, what is that injection? They shoot up and then so they go to a, sleep. Yeah. So it's a, a shot? Is that what they call you it? Then? Pop? No, it's just I'm drinking a soft drink, man. No, I'm talking about the heroin addicts. What What is like the, you know, when you're a coke addict, you're like, yeah, I'm going to go do a line. Right. So when you're a heroin addict, what are you doing? What I'm is gonna it? I'm going to go shoot up. I'm going to go shoot up? Is that what it is? That's what I've seen in the movies. I'm, I've never done heroin. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, yeah, the thing with the pop is, uh, I, I admit I drink a lot of pop, but I don't know. I just it, it gets tiresome. Like you know, this new year, uh, there's a guy at work. He stopped drinking pop, and he's drinking water. And then uh, they went to a whole discussion how pop's bad for you and all this other crap. And I'm like, here we go again with this shit again. <laughs> and then um, I get it from other people and my family, and I'm just like, yeah. Like, eh, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we talked about it briefly. We've talked when, about it here. Yeah, when we were talking about the, the soda sugar tax uh, a week or so ago. So, yeah, man, uh, I, yeah. I've i known you for a long time, and I've known you to always be a big pop drinker. And I'm talking about all the time. I mean, you're always drinking pop. You're drinking a pop right now, and then you're drinking yeah. a pop at work, during lunch, in the morning for breakfast, during lunch. Uh, and then even to go home, you you every day your routine is to stop by and buy like a two liter on the way home. Damn right, man! I need to drink pop, man. And it's just like, damn, man. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the um, the two liters. Uh, the, I I prefer the two liter taste over the can because it can't taste weird. And um, but uh, yeah, I just like I like pop. I know it's bad for you, and especially like oh, I drink diet coke. Cause you know it's the sugar free crap, and um, but the the stuff in NutraSweet or whatever they put in aspartame, I know it's bad for you too, but I don't care, man. I want to drink that shit till till I die, I guess. Damn, man. Well, what do you, do you feel anything when people tell you they quit pop and they feel great and that no. it's a you know it's a weakness, great thing man. that they quit? It's weakness, man. This ain't smoking. This ain't drinking like beer. It's just the pop. No, it's almost like the same thing, man. It's an addiction to caffeine and the sugars that are inside of a pop. That's what the addiction is. And the same thing to uh, people that drink alcohol. You know, it's the addiction to alcohol, the nicotine and cigarettes. I I smoked uh, cigarettes uh, when I turned like 18, my early 20s. I smoked regularly. Uh, I I stopped smoking. I have a cigarette once in a while, but I almost smoke daily. And I've never had a need for that you know like oh i need them like i want a cigarette or something i've never haven't never had that feeling in a long time pop yeah it pops a little bit different i do in the morning i feel like um i don't know i guess the caffeine is like uh something you know you need something i I'm not i never been a big coffee guy i drink coffee once in a while uh i, I you know drink a cup a day i guess but I don't know. I, I, I don't drink it on the weekend necessarily, but I know people, everybody in my family needs coffee every day. So ha- have you ever attempted to, to quit pop or had the need or, or I want? try. I try to reduce what I consume, and it was, um, it was rough. <laughs> yeah. I drank a lot of water, and I did feel like uh, I read some of the withdrawals, like I was cranky. I was getting like headaches and, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I redid it for like a little bit. I drank a lot of water, but like water was just like after a while, it was like boring. I don't know. Like it, they had no flavor, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Water typically doesn't have flavor. So that was just like, uh, then I did, I put, started putting in like mixes, like uh Insta mix thing. And I was just like, this, this is defeating everything I'm doing here. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll just start drinking pop again. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta admit, man. To me, I I miss pop. I myself have quit pop, and I haven't drank a pop in, um, man, maybe like ten years, dude. Maybe plus that. Maybe like fifteen years that I haven't drank any pop at all. Uh, well, except every now and then you'll have like a Jack and Coke and stuff like that. So I don't want to say I've never drank a pop in those fifteen years, but I I definitely it's not a daily thing, and it's not something that I need to eat when I eat like dinner and stuff. Uh, I usually have like iced tea, water, and every now and then, like I mentioned, like a Jack and Coke, or if it's like in a mixed drink, I'll I'll have some, you know, like Popper or Seven Up with you know um, 
what is that? Uh, that vodka with some vodka and Seven Up and stuff like that, and right. Squirt. I'll have stuff like that.